Today we are determining the laterality of the fetal body with the case of cranial caudal dextrocardia. Let's move on to our first step. Step 1. First, with your transducer, identify the fetal head then rotate it 10 to 90 degrees to get the fetal neck position. Next, you sweep it downwards from the fetal neck along the spine to obtain a clear kernel view. Please be aware that the fetal head is on the left side of the observer on the video screen. Step 2. Since it's a vertex presentation, you need to rotate the transducer 90 degree clockwise to obtain the transverse view. Step 3. We will be taking a look at the left hand rules of thumb, adapted by Bronston and instructions from Dr. Le Kim Thuyng. The wrist will be the fetal head, the palm will be the fetal abdomen, dorsal side of the forearm will be equivalent to the fetal back. Fingers will be equivalent to the fetal feet. As you put your left hand on the same position of the fetal body, please remember that since this is a vertex presentation, the wrist, which is the fetal head, will be inferior. In this example, you can see the fetal spine is at the right of the screen, so your hand dorsal will also be on the right of the observer. Step 4. With the transverse view, you need to create a straight line from the spine that divided the fetal body into half, then apply the technique. You will notice the thumb and heart are positioned as listed below. Which lead us to the conclusion that the fetal heart is on the right side of the fetal chest. Thank you for watching our video. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and for more content like this in the future.